Hi, I'm glad you decided to drop by again. I've noticed a trend on YouTube of folks sharing their personal altars in sacred space, so I thought I'd take a moment to share with you the Lycian altar setup, uh, the table that we we'll use for the coven itself, so you can get a little more insight on where I'm coming from, and hopefully you find it of interest. So, without further ado, because I've turned the air conditioner off and it's like 105 in the shade today, uh, let's go ahead and go straight into the altar setup. This is a traditional Lycian setup of the altar that we use for our coven espats and sabbats. Um, you'll notice that the lights are not flickering. That's because we got it set up in an on an electrical system. It's a nice little box about the height of a person kneeling, looking uh, towards the candles at about eye level. It's got wheels on it, so we can put it wherever we want to. The electrical system is set inside the box, which is hollow. We've got a dimmer switch, so we can put it on however we need to. And it works really well if you're going to be going outside or you have a ceiling fan, because you know the lights are never going to go out. Now, on the left-hand side, on the bottom lower corner, you'll notice that the candle is dark. This is specific to the Lycian tradition, and I'll explain the symbology in more detail uh, on another video. So I'm going to go clockwise from the top around. What you are doing right now is looking at the altar from the west facing the east. This is the east, the earth, the pentacle, the body. This is the south, fire, the wand, and the will. This is the west, air, the dagger, and the mind. This is north, water, the cup, and the intuition. These are the two candles which represent the god and the goddess. The goddess candle is on the left in red, and the god candle is on the right in white. We don't use arbitrary definitions such as emotional or strengths and weaknesses of gender. We use the basic biological symbology. You need the blood and you need the semen to make life. Basic. You can be gay, straight, transgender, bisexual, whatever. You can have children or not have children. It doesn't matter. The basic biological fact of human beings is that you need these two elements in order to create life. So that's what we've decided to use in the Lycian tradition to represent the god and the goddess. In the center is the Tarot deck. We call this the Book of the Law, which represents nature's laws and the laws that we need to study in order to understand ourselves and the world around us. Now, this particular deck is a Crowley deck. It's not for any particular purpose, except this is the first Tarot deck that my husband ever got, and he likes the artwork. Um, for each holiday or season, we will put the appropriate card on top and use that on the altar to represent whatever we are focusing on at the time. Now over here is a libation bowl. When we do the cake and ales at the end of an espat, we will leave a little for the god and goddess. We will mix the two together in this bowl, and after everyone has gone home, we will bring it outside and go ahead and pour it onto the earth so they have symbolically partaken in the feast with us for the evening. If you notice on the top, there are a bunch of skulls. These skulls are used as decoration throughout the year to show that our ancestors are always with us. And we also use them as molds for our Day of the Dead celebration on November Eve. We get together and with our coven members and friends and children and paint calaveras which is the Mexican tradition of the painted skull that honors the ancestors. Now I took these particular things off. I forgot to put them back on. This is a mother stone, which is red and very smooth. This is my husband's tool that he uses. There, a skull, which represents the dark mother. And this, which is a nice little stone, which represents the god. If you take a look at it, it's kind of obvious why. That's a very brief overview of what we use in our altar. 
I know there's more things on there that I can explain, but right now I need to turn the air conditioning back on because it's getting pretty warm in here pretty quick. And so I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was of interest to you. If you have any questions, put them in the comments area, and I'll talk to you next time. Thanks a lot for dropping by. See you soon.